And as a periodontist, I'm still wondering where the attached gingiva came from. It's uh, pretty remarkable. We didn't have preoperative measurements, but those did look like periodontally hopeless teeth. Um, and they should have a good long-term prognosis as long as they're stabilized. And she keeps them as clean as she's doing right now. It's beautiful. Absolutely. Remarkable. Well, the gum rehabilitation is amazingly impressive. There was uh, Miller Class 3, no papilla, no attached gingiva, literally on all the lower front teeth, and now there's attached gingiva. The pockets are two millimeters or less. No bleeding. Very nice. The case was an advanced uh, perio condition with pockets, I think he was saying, <clears throat> between five and seven millimeters. Um, they did um, some perioscope treatment first, uh, allowed for some healing, and then did the pinhole surgical technique uh, to regenerate and rejuvenate the gums. Um, after I did some probings, um, I found that the pockets were three millimeters and less in the area, so it's pretty, pretty impressive uh, considering what I was told before was the pre-op condition and uh, the gums looked healthy, there was no bleeding on probing. So uh, absolutely, if that's uh, uh, the results we can expect from the pinhole surgery plus other adjunctive treatment, that's a great result. Yeah, well, the, the one case is amazing. The, the periodontal involved teeth that were hopeless and uh, seeing the papilla grow and the, the teeth savables went fantastic. Uh, the results were very good. Improved the papilla where there was no papilla and uh, uh, actually grew keratinized tissue, which uh, without conventional free gingival grafts, I didn't think you could get.